In this video, we will uh, discuss naive Bayes classifier. So, what is naive Bayes classifier? It is based on the Bayes theorem, uh, we saw what is Bayes theorem in the last class and uh, it has a naive assumption and we said that the features are um, uh, independent, uh, but all are related to the um, uh, dependent value. Right, uh, so all x1 is dependent to y, x2 is dependent to y, but x1 and x2 are independent events. That's the idea. So to just imagine, uh, you know, it's uh, like this. Um, if you want to imagine that, uh, say, using the same uh, Venn diagram, um, if it is x1, this is y. Yeah, x and y are dependent. There's something called x2. There's x2 and uh, there's something called x3. There are multiple dimensional features can be possible. Uh, it is not possible to explain in simple terms, but that is what exactly what the Bayes theorem will do, okay. Uh, get that uh, uh, the imagination of the figure where there are the, there are features which are independent, but all dependent on a one particular predictor or one particular uh, dependent value. So, uh, it is simple Bayes theorem is this, uh, you remember that from the last, uh, last uh, video. Let us see how Bayes, uh, naive Bayes classifier can be used. So, this is simple. Um, uh, example I created, um, if the attendance is in this percentage, attendance in percentage in the past mark in midterm is this. So, um, let us see, um, so attendance in percentage, uh, pass marks in midterm, uh, pass in midterm is yes, is pass or fail. So, yes or no, uh, I pass the exam or not pass the exam. So, from this table we can construct the frequency table. What is frequency table? Frequency table is simple. Let us make a, a bins out of this values, okay. I am going to three bins here 40 to 60, 60 to 161 to 70 and 71 to 80 or above 80, 71 to like 80 and above. It is not just 80, it is 80 and above, okay. So, I have the three, three bins here. Now, I need to compute x and y, s, how many people will pass in this 40 to 60, um, 1 yes, 1 no. Um, 1 yes, 1 no, okay, I should, okay, let us see the yes only, okay, only 2, there are 2 yes, okay, and uh, let us see uh, no, 40 to 51, no, 2, two uh, and 3, there are 3. Okay, it is just a frequency table you can construct from the um, from the given values. Okay. Here it is only one x and one y, um, it is uh, like a independent dependent variable here. And uh, for 61 to 70, similarly there will be 61 to 70, there are 1 and 2, 2 yes and, um, uh, and 1, 3 yes. Let us change this value to no, 65 to no, then it will be like a 2 and 1. And 71 and above, uh, it is only 175, that is x, that is good. So, if you count these numbers, total yes is 5, total no is 4, total numbers is 9. So, probability of uh, yes is uh, 5 by 9, probability of not pass is 4 by 9, okay. That is a simple thing you can compute. Also, probability of 40 to 60 is 5 out of 9, 3 out of 9, and 1 out of 9, okay. That is numbers also you can compute easily. So, this frequency table tells you um, what is the value of each uh, bin and their corresponding yes and no probabilities. Uh, so, probability of uh, yes is so 5 by 9, probability of um, let us change this also just to be clarified. So, this will be no. So, probability of S is 5 by 9 computed by this value, probability of no is 4 by 9 exactly and probability of attendance uh, 40 to 60 is the total number is 4 by 4, 3 plus 2 that is 5, 5 by 9, probability of 61 to 70 is again 3 by 9, 71 to 80 is 1 by 9. So, that is the, the probabilities you can compute from this table like uh, in the column wise also in each row wise. That is the value you can get from the neighbor's classifier. Let us use this to answer some questions. So, let us see. Uh, consider you have this table um, kind of this is the table you got it from the given input variable and uh, we want to ask you a question what is the probability of passing the exam if a student's attendance is 64, okay. What is the probability of student attendance 64 being passed the exam? Simply you can go ahead and see in out of uh, this. Uh, 2 by 3, uh, so 2 by 3 is the possibility to get it, but uh, exactly if you apply it in base theorem also it will give the same answer, let us see how it goes. So, write down 
the answers, check apply in the base theorem steps and uh, find what are the events and write it down. After writing it down, resume the video to continue. So, if you apply the uh, base theorem, you want to know probability of passing the exam equal to S given attendance is 61 to 70. So, which means you have to say probability of attendance uh, 620 uh, given the students is passed and probability of passing the exam also uh, equal to Y divided by probability of attendance 61 to 70. So, probability of uh, this. Um, So, this probability right probability of attendance is 61 to 70 given the student passed the exam. Uh, that is exactly uh, the student passed the exam is the, stu the students uh, the 5 events the students can pass the exam 5 students pass the exam in that 2 of them are in the attendance 61 to 70 bracket. So, that is 2 by 5 ok this is exactly this 2 divided by the total number 5. And probability of pass we have computed already 5 divided by 9 that is a value and uh, probability of uh, in attendance uh, 61 to 70 is this right the 3 numbers 3 by 3 times a student is in this range. So, total number is this. This uh, table is computed from uh, the training value the insurance this new student coming in and asking what is the probability the student will pass exam if attendance is 61 to uh, 70 uh, what is the probability will pass in the midterm. So, if you apply this 5 5 will cancel and 2 by 3 will be the answer. It is simple you can compute directly from the table, but uh, imagine uh, that is not a one variable uh, the 2 3 variables then it will be a bit tricky that is why we can use uh, Bayes theorem there. So, this is a very simple example uh, where we can apply Bayes theorem to solve this uh, uh, training and predicting which student will pass the exam the mid or not based on the attendance. Let us see uh, how we can apply the Bayes theorem into multiple classes. In a multi class uh, uh, problem uh, C1, C2, C3 up to C1. So, instead of a class 1 there are multiple classes. Uh, it is not a pass or fail um, it can be uh, getting less than 30, more than 30 to 50, 50 to 80 and 80 to 100 something 4 classes. A uh, student will drop out in first week, student will drop out in second week something like that or different classes you want to classify. If you want to classify in multi classes like C1, C2, C3 and you have multiple features right uh, uh, like uh, interest or uh, deadline of other works or uh, student sleeping at the time or student is working on different activities there are multiple features or uh, students uh, engagement in the class or students attendance uh, mid sum marks a lot of things are uh, coming here. If you have that kind of multiple features and uh, multiple classes to predict it is called multivariate in the regression. But, uh, so, if you have that kind of uh, problem, simple Bayesian can be extended to solve this problem that is probability of CI that is uh, suppose for the for the class 1 probability of C1 uh, given all the features A1, A2, A3 to An is probability of CI into uh, Bayes theorem simple Bayes theorem probability of A1, A2 up to An given the particular event divided by probability of all the event occurring ok. That is exactly the, the Bayes theorem application this is exactly where you want to use a Bayes theorem. Uh, if you have this kind of equation uh, we had a naive assumption you know the assumption is that a1, a2 uh, are independent right which means probability of computing this probability is easier. So, this is this. So, this is very simple to compute because we have naive assumption that is a1, a2 all independent which means probability of a1, a2, a2 all occurring given particular class c1 can be split into uh, probability of uh, A1 occurring given the label 1, probability of A2 occurring given the label 2 like similarly A3 by Ci till An by Cn ok. If you have this uh, uh, kind of uh, product rule then you can make it as a simple product of probability of Ai Ga. So, product of all uh, 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 all the features uh, will occur given the particular event is for that uh, this particular equation will be solved. If you have that and you might have the probability of CI already and uh, uh, this is also nested we will see how it happening. So, if you have this particular equation is easy to compute ok. This will compute probability of CI given suppose CI equal to 1 ok. Then we have to compute the same probability for CI equal to 2, CI equal to 3. Suppose we have 4 classes, we have to compute 4 different probabilities and find which one is higher, we have to pick that one. So, since we are comp comparing this C CI uh, equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, what we can do? We can ignore this term. 
because this will be the common denominator in all the comparisons. So, we can ignore that. So, the naive Bayes classifier simplified is very well simplified into a probability of all the event occurring uh, given C i that is exactly this product rule into probability of C i that is it. So, what you have to do is uh, take the class 1 suppose if you want to do the for class 1 probability of C 1 given all the features like uh, A 1, 2, A 3, okay, A 1, A 2 and A 3. It is simple uh, product rule of uh, product of uh, probability of A 1 uh, i equal to 1 to 3 A i uh, divided by C 1 into probability of C, C 1 that is it. It is uh, very simple you know uh, it is simple to compute. Similarly, you have to compute for probability of C 2 given A 1, A 2 and all the 3 events occurs probability of C 3 given A 1, A 2, A 3. She compute all three probabilities and uh, you have to pick the uh, uh, probability which is higher that is a particular class of that particular uh, given events. So, this is how you train the uh, naive Bayes classifier. So, from the given uh, given input uh, table input values you have to compute uh, all these values like probability of A1 given C1, probability of CI, probability of A2 given C1. So, you have to compute that frequency table. If you have that particular frequency table, it is very easy to compute the uh, compute the compute the new features for the probability of uh, student pass the exam, not pass the exam, or get more than 30 marks, less than 30 marks, all these different classes can be classified. So, that is what all about neighbors classifier is. So, here is one simple example. Um, this example is uh, it is very simple example. Consider a student has passed in all other exams in previous semesters, okay. he is taking a current semester course in one particular subject in your subject and he has passed all the exams. If he passed it is yes, if he is not passed it is no, yes, no. And uh, the students attendance uh, also low, medium, high, we split into 3, uh, maybe less than 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 100, something like that. You split into three bins, and that's a bins value. It's a categorical variable. Then you have uh, you have uh, midterm marks also categorized to 35, 35 to 60, or more than 60. That's it. Three bins. Given these values, you want to predict the y, x1, x2, x3. You have to predict y. That is, uh, with the student pass in the final exam, or not. Uh, if it is passed, it says. Um, if it is passed, if it says, it is no. It is no. So, the question is what is the pros probability of a student with a midterm mark equal to 55 and attendance is low and uh, he has not passed in all uh, is not passed in all other subjects. He has not passed all other in all other subjects. So, he has not passed all the subjects might have passed 2 or 3 well missed 1 or 2 subjects not passed the exams. Given this value what is the probability? So, it is simple. So, what we are asking is probability of uh, probability of final exam is equal to yes that is a class C1, C2. So, only one class here is a class and uh, given uh, the, the pass in all other subjects. So, other subject is no that is A1 attendance is also low that is A2 and midterm mark is uh, 35 to 60. Midterm mark is 35 to 60. What is the probability? So, if you can compute the frequency table from this figure, uh, this table, you can compute this very simply because it is simply the probability of passing, um, you know, probability of passing the exam that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is only 10 in the 3 years, 7 by 10. So, probability of um, yes equal to 7 by 10 and if you compute the probability of um, like uh, A1 given CI. So, what is the probability of A1 is equal to no given this value. So, if you can compute that 3 values and you can simply substitute you can get the probability of whether student will pass the exam or not right. So, that simple uh, is naive Bayes classifier. Naive Bayes classifier is basically based on um, what to say the naive Bayes, uh, Bayes theorem and with a naive assumption and uh, it is uh, computing the frequency tables and using that table to predict the future events. Thank you.